I was, um, I was in the army only in 1991 after serving 10 years. I was, I was blown up by a terrorist bomb in Northern Ireland. In the explosion, I'd lost two fingers on my right hand, both legs above knee. Um, my right arm was gashed open as well. About three weeks down the line, this is three weeks after being blown up, I remember turning around on the wheelchair and I'm faced with this full length mirror. Now this is the first time that I've, ever, I've, that I've seen myself since I got blown up. And I remember looking at myself and thinking, I'm a mess, I'm a real mess, what am I gonna do now? I sat there for about 15 or 20 minutes just staring at myself. And after a while I realized, it came to me that I've got one of two choices here. I can sit there and let everyone wipe my backside for me for the rest of my life with my chin on my chest, or I can pick my chin up and get on with it. And that's what I did. I got on with it. Got on with the rest of my life. Could you give me an example of a situation where maybe a young person might need to be resilient or show some resilience? Well, there have been a couple of times now that I've gone to, especially London, there have been like groups of men, uh, usually older, who've just called out to me and said, like, uh, to do with my like my race yeah. and they've called out not very nice things for the rest of the day or the rest of the week I'd be thinking about what that group of men said to me and I just felt like now I realize they must have had some insecurity within themselves to be trying to pick on me you really have become resilient haven't you? And, yeah. and very much in a uh, resilient like a water off a duck's back yeah. it doesn't make it right in any way shape or form yeah. but but you it doesn't affect you now exactly. and that's that's yeah. resilience that's yeah. a, a trait of resilience yeah for sure yes. yeah. Well, personally, I mean, I used to struggle with having really bad, um, like, skin, and it made me so self-conscious, and I, there was, like, days when I didn't really want to leave the house, and I was really struggling. And I know that, like, in hindsight, none of, no, none of my friends, no, no one, like, who was around me really took much notice of it, but for me, it was something that I really, like, had to battle with, um, like, getting the courage to kind of, like, get up and just, like, forget about it and leave the house. Another trait I heard there was perseverance. Mm. You persevered and you found a way, and that's, that's part of resilience, isn't it? Yeah. There is a lot of rejection that we've had to deal with where you don't get the exam grade you wanted or you, you feel a certain way, but there is um, certain times where you've just got to say, OK, that's happened now. And do you, would you agree that that's also that some of that negative stuff that went on that actually made you stronger, made you resilient? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. We can learn to be resilient, but I think I agree that we, we all have some resilience in us. You, you just learn, learn to find it. Yeah, absolutely right. You learn to find it. Mm.